Correct. What's what well, I say again? That's right. It's the ribosome that's blocking. So if the ribosome is stuck here, then this, this sequence can't form. Only if it makes it through here quickly does this sequence get a chance to form. It's kind of a cool setup. Yes? Well, it's a structure that favors the the um, the the, uh, the termination. Okay. okay. I don't want to get too involved because it's kind of a complicated structure, a little bit more complicated than we saw before. But but the bottom line is that that this structure will terminate. This one will not terminate. Okay. So that phenomenon is called attenuation. What's interesting is I said this occurs in a lot of operons. We see a similar thing occurring in other operons in E. coli. For example, valine has almost exactly the same setup, except for it has several valines right here. Exactly the same sort of thing. The RNA polymerase, when it hits those valines, if there's no valine or very little valine present, guess what happens? The ribosome stops. It keeps the, it keeps the thing from forming a terminator so that now RNA polymerase goes on. If there's abundant valine, it makes it through there, and now the terminator forms, and the um, transcription stops. Tryptophan operons one, valine. There's about four or five different operons for amino acids in E. coli that use exactly the same mechanism. Pretty cool. Valine and tryptophan, yeah. Uh, let's see, are they all nonpolar? No, I don't think they're all nonpolar. It's the, that, that's not the, the, the important thing back there. I, I think there's a glutamic acid one also, if I recall correctly. Okay. All righty, let's see. Here we go. Oh, well, we're almost done. Almost done. Let's see what else I have to finish up with. And we're set. We're at eukaryotes. Well, why don't we call it a day? What do you guys say? Unless you really want to go more. Ron, yes, ma'am. An evolutionary, is that like a benefit? It is a benefit. Or okay. It is so a benefit. Eukaryotes, it wouldn't be that eukaryotes don't have because it's like a protective mechanism. Well, the um, it's interesting. People argue about whether or not the uh, which are more evolutionary, further evolutionary down the evolutionary trail. Yeah. Some would say the bacteria are more efficient. And yeah, it seems more efficient. But if there was like any kind of damage to the genes, then right. So there probably are advantages to the way eukaryotes are set up. In eukaryotes, the reason this happens in prokaryotes, for example, um, the organization of the genes is they have small genomes. Yeah. We have very big spaces in our genomes. And there's a reason why, because it looks like we can mix and match our genes more easily. So that probably is the evolutionary advantage that we have. But in terms of an energy perspective, bacteria have got it down. I was wondering. Yeah. Hey, Matt, what's up? Okay, bring it to my office. I'll lose it here, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid. So bring it to my office. If I'm not there, leave it with the secretary, okay? I'm still it's a bit confused about the whole terminator, anti-terminator. Okay. It seems, it seems bad.